you have x is greater than that, that's good. If you put a comma and say x is also greater than this parabola, that might give you this part as well. X greater than this one. So I created a graph from Beauty and the Beast, a cartoon, which has bell, cattle, uh, small chip, and a plate. So go to the, uh, to the end of the equation. This one? Yes, yeah, this one. So basically it's just dark green duck. I try yes. to just fill in the shadows right here, right there. So we can just up right here. So it doesn't look that bad because if it's all black and white sometimes with all these layers, it's just gonna look super messy. And then I'm gonna animate it so it will just go up and down. Less shaded area than I need. So I just uh, use this black parabola and uh, increase its coefficient and shift it a little bit uh, down so it fits the line. I'm just creating a picture of the girl. Almost finished, I just need to fill in with the color some parts, these parts, and maybe some of the... I'll see. So how many functions do you use? 196, almost 200. Was that they seem to be straight lines, but they're not. And you actually have to do them by parts, even though it, it looks like a complete line. <laughs> You have to do it by parts. It takes a long, long time. 99.9% of everything looks fantastic. I found just quickly these four equations, though, that are absolutely ridiculous. I forget where they came from. Uh, Tim, what's wrong with this first one? Um, you... Mm, minus zero, zero. My minus zero. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you have a minus zero anywhere, just click it. Tim, what's wrong with this one? Zero in the front. Yeah, zero times, it just disappears. This is just y equals 6.6, so... It's so weird. It is so weird, right? Uh, can we cover this one? Uh, minus one in front, like, what is it? Minus one is fine in front, I don't mind that. So if you just minus, minus one, one dot. This dot here, a lot of people just have random dots. So fucking in there. So ugly, right? <laughs> This project, the idea is, we take everything that we have learned about parent functions and transformations at the beginning of the year and apply it to recreate a picture using graphs at the end of the year. It's nice because uh, at the beginning of the year, all these skills seem kind of arbitrary. It's hard to see the, the practical applications for this, and while this application is not so practical, it at least gives some motivation as for why we're doing these things and why it can be useful or at least interesting to know.